Hello, here's a video, a quick video on how to get a custom model into iClone with Motion Live for motion capture and facial capture. Um, I'm also going to run through how to use Mixamo if you haven't got a character rigged up for bones. So, um, so I've got this character. I mean, I've done most of this process already, but I'm just going to show, run through quickly what needs to be done. So, if I with I'm using Lightwave 3D, but any program will work. If you export as an FBX, um, we want to be we want to keep the blend shapes. Don't need any animations or anything like that. I've already exported this model anyway, so that will give you the model on its own. And I originally exported it out with no bones. So what I then did is I brought it into Mixamo. So all we have to do is select the character to upload. So okay, so I've already got the file exported out. Let's say one new open that, and then we'll upload this to Mixamo. Okay, it does actually take longer than that to upload, but I um, paused the video while it was doing so. Anyway, so here's your character. The model's in there now. Uh, I find Mixamo is a really simple way. So if you're not you know, very good at rigging, um, this is a great way to get a good rig on your character. Um, set it up for a rig. Also, if you've uh, downloaded a character from, you know, say, Turbo Squid or something like that that hasn't got a bone rig set up in it already, this is a good way of adding one onto it. Okay, full thing, and I will auto rig. Okay, here's the model rigged. Um, next step is really we'll have to bring it back into our 3D software just to fix the weight maps. Because obviously, you know, it it just kind of guesses where it needs to be, but it does a pretty good job um, and a good job to start from. So the next stage is downloading the character and adding in the weight maps. So, um, okay, you can see the skeleton that it's made for it, and it's pretty cool. All right, so we will now download this. Um, we want T pose, FBX. Okay, download. Okay, that file's now downloaded, so what we will do is bring that, open that up in Lightwave, or whatever 3D software you're using, so we'll open up a new scene, so load, scene, I'll go in downloads, Okay, so the bones make some sense. We'll put male style, male style joints. Okay, now you can see that the character is rigged. Now um, I just need to go in and adjust the weight map. Okay, so in Modeler we can go to Weight Shade. Mode, and we can see what's going on with the headway and you can see it's just you because he's got a long face it's only used the top of the face so what we will be doing is selecting the area that needs to be the head map set map apply 100 percent okay and set that one anyway very quickly Uh, uh, Alright, so this should fix the head issue with the bones. And also in here as well, we can go in and um, personally I'd use ZBrush. 
but we could go in and add in more morphs. It's, this character's already got a bunch of morph targets for lip sync on it, but setting up for the real-time fa uh, face wear, you, you want to go through and add all the proper um, different mouth shapes. But for now, this will be okay. Just do a simple test. Like I say, this character is not built really for animation um, it was built for um, 2d illustration renders so like the shoulders and the kind of bone structure needs a bit of work but for a quick test it will do the job okay next stage is to open up um, where are we we need to go to the hub and we need 3D exchange. Um, oh, once you've done your weight changes, you would then have to export that FBX out again to wherever you need it to be, and then we can bring this into our clone 3D exchange. So if I open. Uh, I think head fix was my original one that I did. Bring that into here. Okay. Now textures, I always find for some reason but specularity quite high. I don't know if that's a setting from Lightwave or whatnot, but I just tend to turn that I don't know, down to one. Um, turn that down to one. Go for the different ones. Let's do horns down to two. To go through. Uh, take the opacity of the glasses down. Eyes down to two. Pupils about down to ten. And closing this up. Eyelids. Okay. I'll just do it on everything and bring down two. Um, okay, so oh, that'll do for now. I think that's everything. Next thing we need to do with the character is. We need to convert to a non-standard. And for this one we go Maya Human IK, okay. that seems to work okay. Make it active and convert. Okay. Then the next thing we need to do is go through and set up the expressions. So get expression editor. As I said, the this character isn't really set up um, for fa um, face wear correctly yet, but it's it's good enough for now for a test so what I'm going to do is just add in what we've got just to try it out but you know you can add in more to your own character to get better results just need to extend them a little bit I think um, so we want jaw open so that one let's press set the visims um, I think are just for the automatic lip sync. So the main thing that we want are things like um, raise eyebrow. So if I put that up, set that one. That's left. Raise eyebrow. Right. Set. 
um, mouth open. Got mouth closed. Do. So you can use some of your um, if you've got any morph targets already, you know, you can play around with them and get them in there. I think the ones that are quite important is the kind of for a simple cartoon character, the mouth pucker and the mouth open are pretty good. Um so pucker again. Actually just do that one. We'll close it a little bit on that. Okay. And that is probably good enough now for a setup uh, for a quick test in iClone. So the next thing we need to do is go to apply to iClone. Okay. And there's the model. Let's uh, put in Ambient occlusion, that was looks quite nice. Um, we'll do a quick fix some of the textures. So, fur new, I've got a bump map for him somewhere. Uh, da -da -da -da. There we go, we've got a normal map there for him. Normal map, okay. If we go to high quality, there we go. Turn the strength of it down a little bit. And I'm just gonna, for the glasses, turn the opacity down a little bit. So, plus. Okay, so there we go. That's the character looking okay for now. Um, I'm not going to mess around with any lighting or anything like that. I'm going to go straight into Motion Live. We are going to turn on Real Time Face Wear. And we're going to turn on Perception New Run because we've got the suit's not set up at the moment, but we've got pre recorded animation added in. And we're going to add Real time face wear onto that, and we're going to add perception neuron on, and we're going to preview. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, we've got the character set up, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the motion live plugin. We have real time for high clone running here and calibrated. So we want to select, turn that one on. You normally select down here and click which one you want on. Perception neuron. Add that one. We're going to turn the head off so the head's controlled by the face wear. And in the face wear, we're going to put on mirroring. So you can, like I say, we've got the iClone setup, uh, face wear setup, sorry. Um, and we've got axis motion setup with um, a pre recorded motion. So what we will do is go back to the motion live settings, press preview, space bar to preview. As you can see the head movement is being controlled. We've got um, some settings that we can adjust in here so we can make the draw Wider, lower, so we can play around with them, the eyebrows, and also the mouth, a bit more or less um, effective. So that's that working with um, the motion capture. We can press play on the pre recorded animation, and you, as you can see, 
that animation is added to the character and that would work with the live mocap suit um, as I said before the character isn't really set up correctly so like, you know you've got some odd bending in the arms and things like that but that's all something that could be fixed if uh, the character is built in the correct way but as you can see this gives a really good example of how you can set up a live character um, well, it doesn't have to be live, you can um, use this for pre-recorded, but quickly get a custom character into iClone and start doing some real-time live animations and some mocap. So, let's pause. You also have um, other settings. Um, that could be adjusted as well if you go into the expression mapping panel you can um, adjust the different expressions so if I'm doing a smile you can uh, adjust how much that that's affecting that expression um, if you hide zero value so it just shows you what's being affected <clears throat> and you know you can go through it once you've got more of the uh, morph target setup for the face, you can really go in and customize it quite a lot. So, that's just a quick example on how to get character, custom made character from whatever 3D software you use into iClone and ready for mocap and facial capture. And as I say, it works really nicely. I'm very impressed with how it looks. And if we wanted to, you know, we could even, instead of pressing preview, we can record that animation. Testing one, two, three. Space stop. Now if you play that through. You can see that animation has been recorded now. So, 